and now entering the cryptic cavern where we have five lights, five reds, all they have beautiful flowers on their beautiful little heads, five sprays, and there's also five floors. <laughs> five, 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 five. Too bad there wasn't a fifth thing that had five things of something that we could see. <laughs> to also, like, however way the pigment are, they stay exactly how they are once the cutscenes unpause. I think everything else but Olimar and Louie. Also, this area looks really empty, but it's actually not, because there's also a little doodle bug right there. I'm sorry, you uh, little red pigment. I promise uh, I didn't mean for you to just dive right into where the poison is, but sometimes it's just like that. And here is where we're going to use one of our spicy sprays. The others we are going to uh, keep until at least the 4-4. You will see why I say that soon enough. It's too bad that the buried treasure was not nearby the ship. That would have saved so much time. That would have been so nice. <laughs> but oh well, it is how it is. And we should have more than 10 seconds left. <laughs> but so far, so good. <laughs> I also feel bad for the doodle bugs and the flint beetles. If they're there to bury themselves away from danger, yet they pop out once danger is on top of them. Like, what kind of tactic is that? You're supposed to scare them away? Like, you would think they would just stay there? I don't think it's for hunting, but regardless, War 2, and this room also has some buried treasure. Not all of them do, at least the first three. I don't believe the... Um... I don't think the last two floors have any buried treasure. I'm sorry, little white pigmen, but we're just gonna swarm them because we could also just start punching. And I find it really funny how this seems like they would just drown, but then uh, it's like, nope, there's actually some, uh, <laughs> this is actually just barely enough room for them to just kind of avoid getting shot by the water. Where is this buried treasure going to be? I was hoping it was gonna be an hybrid by here. No. I also find it interesting how most of these buried treasures are just kind of hanging up right in the middle, or really right at the edge of all the, um, <laughs> the floors. Like, it's not like that in the well, normal picking area, but hey, that's fine. I'll take it anyways. It's also a really funny glitch. I don't really know why it happens. I think it has to do with the cutscenes pausing them, but sometimes the pigmen will just try to start burying, but they won't actually do anything. So they just stand there and just kind of look off to the side or look like they're going to start punching, but they're actually frozen. <laughs> and <laughs> this happened to me a few times. I just. I like the imagery of it, but there's that treasure done. Now on to floor three. We're still going to keep our sprays, but this time we're actually going to leave the Pikmin their own, mostly because I it could be very tricky to do because of one tiny little cute enemy. You see, as long as we could actually find it, a little electric weevil. I feel so bad for punching these weevils, but at the same time, they have treasure for us that we need to take. Ah, I'm so sorry, Louis. I promise I didn't need for you to get right into the electrical attack. But it's okay. Also, all of our got hit right there too, so... <gasps> There's that! Now it's getting... Key? No, maybe also the dweeble. Usually I don't. But there's gonna be plenty of time for the treasure to be unproved, though. And you guys are just confused, so come on. <laughs> there we go. Yes, the four little white pigments. I guess we could have just tried to find the treasure here in the first place. I don't know why it's so awkward just to try to find where this treasure is. But there we go. So they're gonna start. Oh, that's gonna be right, right next to us. That makes me very happy. It's also one of the few treasures that. Actually needs all of our Pikmin to uh, to carry, not to unbury. <laughs> well, I don't think all like 100 Pikmin could actually unbury one treasure. 
And Louis, what? I don't think I'm just shoving us. Also, too bad we can't just help these guys we dig. Like, you would think that would also be a thing, especially with Louis, who seems like he probably wouldn't care about getting his hands dirty or in mud. Well, whatever the ground would be here. I don't know if it'd also be rocks or not. And okay, 52 beautiful seconds, which wow, it was almost a minute for us. <laughs> and this is the floor where we use one of the bitter sprays and one of the spicy sprays, and the other two we'll be leaving for the last four. And this beauty right here is why, because it's just quicker if we just. Kind of throw them on there, but also we can just punch this thing. Although, no, I was, I was going to say we could just kind of keep it. Now there, I know that there is no buried treasure in the last two rooms, so I was like, I don't think there is. No, there isn't. I mean, and if there is, I'd be really surprised. And beautiful. Too bad you can't just see like all of our in those cutscenes. Like Pikmin, what you can see all of our and all the Pikmin in any of the cutscenes, but in this game, no, it's changes. Here we go, hit the spray on early, because it is another thing that is buried in the ground, and beautiful, it gives us great RNG, see if it will have to go into the ground or not. No, that might have not been the best idea to do, but at the same time it still works. So I like how these guys look like they're trying to get to his head. Oh, thankfully it just buried his head in the ground. And we able to reach them where we are. That was also nice and smooth. Because we could get the extra bonus of just getting his head. But we should also keep some of our pigment on us. Just we, we don't know where this thing's going to show up. Or rather where <laughs> where the cave exit is going to show up. Would you consider the ones that pop up aside from the Yersha ones to be the entrance or the exit? Because I could see it being either just because you're going deeper down, so that would be the entrance, but it's time to be exiting the floor. It's too bad we weren't right on the top. That would, that was, I was trying to have that happen, and I figured it would be right here. And we have so much time left too. We should be able to beat our high score. I say our high score is because this one we didn't have perfect, but they actually recorded this whole row not too long ago. But most of it wasn't actually recorded. <laughs> I like how that one Pikmin was just sticking his head out, it's like in the actual mound. And wow, we beat it pretty good. <laughs> I love that, I love it when we beat our high scores. <laughs> And now entering the Concrete Maze, which is one of the challenges I'm just a little bit nervous about. Not too nervous though. That's just because, well, it's a maze, but also it's a very big maze. We have three floors, but we don't have a lot of time. So, might be one of the few instances that I might actually... Oh my goodness, actually that is great. But the question is, where will the... Oh my goodness, come on little dude. Where will the cave itself be? The cave entrance exit area be though. Might not be near water because it typically isn't, but it could be at the same time. It's the only way to find out is just by getting hints, so maybe it will be around here. Excuse me, Louie. <laughs> just slowing us down, like, bruh, come on, what are you trying to do? Dress us out? Now we will call it, but I do love how fast these gates go down though, so that does help us quite a bit. And, okay, so we know it is behind the gate. So now we'll go off of this view. Perfect! The reason why I'm using this view is because obviously it makes it a whole lot easier to try to find the key. And, wow, that was a very great RNG with how the key was placed. Is it 40 seconds? Usually it's a little bit more tight. So, fingers crossed, we have good RNG, you know, knock on wood, just in case. <laughs> and here is the area that makes me the most, most nervous. Mostly because it's even bigger, but not so much that, as there's actually some hazards in here that we have to be very careful about. 
And that is one of them. And two of them. I d and three. Whoa, okay, guys. You just need to calm down. I mean, I guess we're gonna go this way to see if this is where the key is. Nope, that's just a maze area. I feel bad for those guys, actually, because they just do their thing. So we're just gonna throw these in. We're going to actually end up distracting these guys, because thankfully they will go towards the closest entity to them. Just like how the man at legs work, which I think is kind of interesting. Because like, you would think you would just go after anything, or just go after the pigmen, or whatever. Hi buddy, can you? Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> just feels so weird. Trying to lure these things though. Yes, we could go around, but if the key is this way, it's gonna be quicker. I think we still have plenty of time though, but just barely enough. Not very comfortable. Okay, so maybe we beat it one time. And I'm actually going to switch Bluey and Olimar. That would already be quick here. Okay, but you just need to calm down. I am so sorry, Olimar. You. Oh, honey, I am terribly sorry. <laughs> As I'm laughing. I'm laughing at a guy's pain. He just got exploded. And I'm laughing. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't help it. Well, tiny little guy. But okay, again, at least we have time to actually take a look at where this cave could be. Not there. And pff, explosives again. Why is there so many down here? Wait, who came up with this? Are they mad at the players? Are they mad at making this game or what? But thankfully for all of our going through these caves. Oh, we can just, just see the soul seep through the wall. That's interesting. <laughs> but his health will actually come back. And that is fantastic. And now we can see we got ourselves one of these. And that is why we got ourselves some gorgeous little um, chest pieces. We also got an egg so we can get some nectar and or some spikes. Pieces. Or just one of those, okay. Whatever, dude. <laughs> you do you, my tights. That got great RNG for us, though, especially with the poor Pikmin now. So, uh, let's just hope that doesn't slow us down, though. We don't have purple Pikmins with us. Oh! Not that. The Pikmin really care about that. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> Some nectar would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, well. At least we don't really have to worry about it so much because it's just a small space and we know where all of them are. And each piece should only need 15. I think only need 15. Could be 10, but I don't think so. <laughs> only one way to find out and that's by throwing the pigment that way. Okay, it's, it's 10. That's even better. But it's, unfortunately we can't split them because there's no other... You know, little candy pop bud. I love how they're called candy gloves. It's just such a cute little thing. It's too bad we also don't have any purples. But that's just how it be. <laughs> nope! Come on, little red Pikmin. <laughs> come on, Gregory. You can come with me now. <laughs> so we got one of these since the break. <laughs> So I don't know if I mentioned this, but if I sound slightly different, it's because I just got back from a place called Maple Ridge out in Canada. Such a nice little place. But I was dropping my dad off at a friend's house because he drank a little bit, so obviously it's not really legal to drive when you're drinking. <laughs> we had some boba tea, and I just recently got back. But mostly the reason why I mention it is because um. <laughs> I tried to turn my computer to sleep mode, which I thought I did, but I either double tapped the recording button or Dahlia somehow managed to hit the recording button as I was leaving. And I came back with 2 hours and 25 minutes worth of recordings of just <laughs> the president of Pakote. <laughs> it's like, whoa, okay. And we just barely beat our high score. That is beautiful. I thought we were lagging behind because of the lack of nectar, but nope. Take it. 
now shimmying into the collector's room. <laughs> which actually has the most sublevels, which I think is really funny. Because <laughs> all the sublevels so far have been 1 up to 5. And this one slowly just jumps to 7. And since the only one that has 7 floors on it too, which is why I think it's so funny. So, ooh, yeah, decent RNG. Get me very close to this guy. It's gonna be the one time that I actually. Well, actually, not one time. This is the only uh, like challenge level that I'll actually get this close to one of the enemies. That's just because, well, I want them to just gather all of these. Fortunately, guys, I'm going to have you to ditch that. And this looks like it's right be all the treasure, but it actually isn't. Because we got ourselves some buried treasure. Which unfortunately for us is not the one that's very close. I was hoping it was going to be where that cave was. Also, really awkward the fact that you just have to go back and forth when the Pikmin are picking them up. You would think they would just continue to move, but my guess is because they're trying to stop so the Pikmin can the other Pikmin could catch up to grasp onto it. Unfortunately, nine seconds for this, so like, ooh. It's because that bird treasure was so far away. That's why it's like this one is actually one of my favorites, but least favorite ones. Not because it's up to the RNG of all the placements for everything. <laughs> Don't you guys can just go after that, so that's fine. I love it when it's really close. Now I'm disguised by himself, and this is actually gonna be one of the two caves or sub levels that I'm actually going to just do that. There we go. Oh pfft. I like how those two just needed nectar. And I'm guessing that's gonna be like right in there. And? Oh, it wasn't. It was in the corner. Right in front of us. Okay, cool. And we should have enough Pikmin to actually just split all of these. Because that only needs 10. This needs 15. And this should be all of the remaining treasures in this area. I honestly really like this particular level. Just because, well, oh, it's just so small. Everything's very beautifully clustered together, and beautiful. I mean, also just barely ran out of spicy spray. <laughs> and again, it's too bad the spicy spaces don't stay together. And let's see where... Ah, right here. Okay, so, it'll be the same situation. I'm getting really awkwardly close to this guy, and I hope that it's not going to eat any other Pikmin, and whew, thankfully it did not. And I forgot that this treasure looks like it's not buried on the ground, but it actually is. <laughs> like, I don't know why that is. And this level also has what I call a safety net. As I'm pretty sure the Nintendo was like, hmm, you know, the Pikmin could easily be thrown off or flicked off. And again, why did they have to like stop so awkwardly? They just have to like shove them out. They <laughs> have to shove them around. Like, come on guys, don't be bullies to each other. Trying to help each other out. Not, <laughs> not ruin it. But there we go. So I think the next floor either has... No, the next floor has one of my favorite creatures in it. <laughs> Something is very fuzzy. And if you didn't notice, there's all bulbards in this area. <laughs> is it hairy? Yes, that's right. There's a hairy... Bulbear <laughs> or Bulbear. I don't imagine there's a fur on Bulbear, so. Actually, low key. Uh, low key. Is this a, not weird to tell. Not disappointed either. Disappointment is, would not be the word I'm trying to say it, but I'm surprised that there actually isn't any Bulbears that have like fur or like fire on them, because we know that there's. Of course, the bulbarbs, like the fiery bulbarb, the hairy bulbarb, the red spotted bulbarb, and stuff like that. But why not different varieties of bulbears? But I mean, I guess technically that makes so... Actually, no, it doesn't really make sense, because I was going to say there's the Empress and the Emperor, but those are bulboxes, which are very close. I was actually wonder how closely related the bread bugs and all the rest of us, like the bulbears and stuff are related to each other. Probably pretty close considering the bread bugs mimicry of looking like the juvenile versions of the adult bulbers. 
But I don't know. After way, we're on to the fifth floor, which is also okay. Whew. Good RNG, oh, hopefully at least. And just like last time, getting awkwardly close to this guy, so we can hope this is not gonna eat our beautiful Pikmin here. And <laughs> just gathering all of these should only need ten. Perfect. Also, like how each and every one of them also just had something in it. Does this side have any treasure in it? Doesn't look like it. Wow, that was fantastic RNG. They're all in just this room. <laughs> I love it though, like I'm not complaining. At least I don't think there's any buried treasure. Just if I find it here, that was actually well, that it was. That's actually very rare that the whole map didn't have treasure was scattered all over it. <laughs> Okay, so sub level 6, we will be using one of each spring once again because we got ourselves another beautiful orange gold orb right here. And I love how we can also hunt the crap out of those guys just to make sure our uh, pigmen are actually safe. And we barely can't split that up, unfortunately. Also, a side -er note, I'm so sorry if I end up just like punching you guys. <laughs> There are some flies in my room, and some of them are just like stupidly close to my mouth. And <laughs> of course, I'm gonna be swatting at them. And naturally, the microphone's gonna be pretty close to my mouth. Otherwise, it's not gonna be picking up too much. <laughs> I'm so close to accidentally punching you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so seven four. So let's see, RNG. This room. Oh, this room. This room actually has. <laughs> a surprise, which is not a beautiful bulldog, but instead a beautiful gadolin cord. Oh shoot, okay. Let's not destroy ourselves here. We got so good with RNG, it would be very unfortunate. But thankfully, they don't all get scattered if they get knocked off though. And I also love this room, because <laughs> obviously everything is just very tight and all together. And this could also go up there. And, oh, okay. But also because Rob is down here too. Do any of you guys like to play Rob in Smash? Whether it's Brawl or Ultimate or. Well, I think he's also in Smash 4, isn't he? Not actually too sure. I didn't really play a lot of Smash 4 as a kid. I don't really know why, since me and my brother just never really played a lot with him. And if you couldn't tell, I played most Smash games with my, my brother. <laughs> and okay. So, we should be. Oh, yeah, we're good at the pace. We have plenty of time to get the remaining of this, but just not enough to actually gather that one, which is very unfortunate. But that's just how it is. We can't be perfect. I don't think we. I think we're just barely off and getting the Rob's head as well. Let's see here. How much does he need? Yeah, 30. So we'll just get these guys to go and d just destroy that. I don't wonder if we're going to beat our RNG. Let's see. Maybe just a smidge. But I also wouldn't be surprised if we're just think, barely under as well. <laughs> I love it when I just think we awkwardly go right on top. And okay. <laughs> Stop it. It was like... Why did he have to go that way, guys? He could have just went straight. But, oh well, I'm not going to question it. And love hearing that. So the moment of truth, Drumwolves, are we going to be beating our high score? So like how close we were just from the previous score too. And well, we did. Okay, we're just chiseling away from our high scores. Again, I love it. <laughs> and now <laughs> on to the saddest level for me. The Dweevil's Nest. <laughs> and it's the saddest one for me because we have to destroy so many instant docile, docile uh, Dweevils. And that's just because they all have treasures in them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the key though is just laying by itself. I'm so sorry dude, you are not on the treasure so therefore I have to defeat you. And wow, okay, I'm glad I at least was able to hit the pigment out. And okay. I don't know why I decided to try to run away from the poison when the poison doesn't actually do any damage to us. Like it, yes, it does damage to our Pikmin, but not to Alomar and our Louis. 
I'm also gonna pick one side and just kind of go counterclockwise or clockwise. I guess we're gonna go this way. We're keeping the distance and hoping that we're going to get one of the yellow pickings onto it. Because it's the electrical one, we kind of want to make sure that we don't get destroyed by it. And now you're gonna, you're gonna get out here, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> we bought your coin. I thought all of them for some reason had... All of our yellow pigments decided to go to that coin instead of the others, but hey, that's okay. I like how the music changes depending on if we have the the, the cave head up or not. Yeah, come on, buddy. Oh, well, thankfully it didn't actually uh, use this defense, which is kind of a surprise. Normally they would want to, but... Hey, I'm not complaining. Okay, so now it's the ones I don't really have to worry about because although we will get damaged by it, our Pikmin will get completely destroyed by them, thankfully. And it's also nice that these treasures here are also very, very light. Oh my goodness, hello. No, you are not going to do that. In fact, oh wow, okay, you apparently are just going to hide there. And again, I'm so glad that we don't get hurt by the poison. Which is kind of a surprise, because you would think, just like any other element, it would do damage to us. But no. <gasps> the people thought it could get away. I mean, it almost got away, so... Gotta give it that credit. And I love how those guys are just kind of awkwardly sitting there. But I do like how there's only, like, one... Um, one floor in here, so we don't really have to worry about running out of room. But unfortunately, it's one of the more slower levels just because of how the placement of everything. But hey, that's okay. We're still at good pace. I just don't know if we are going to be able to beat our score or not. The only way to really find hope about that is, well, by beating the Dweebles, getting out of here. <laughs> But I mean, we also might, just because we are also collecting corpses. It's starting to fly, almost landed in my mouth. <laughs> like, come on. Get out of here, fly. Get out of here. Too bad I can't just fling and pick me at them. <laughs> so, I was gonna ask you guys, I don't remember if I asked this before or not, but if you had an opportunity to get your own Pikmin, would you have a Pikmin? I know I would. It would be very cute just to have some, like, little guys around willing to just help you out. Like, even if they were the most tiniest little nuggets possible. <laughs> but okay, these guys are nice and close, so that means we would hopefully not have to worry about it. But of course, they are flinging after. Not flinging after. Oh shoot, okay, we don't want to suffocate any of our Pikmin though. Okay. Okay, come on guys, come on guys. No. Oh no, no. Oh, you, need, you have so much to survive for, Paul. So much to survive for. But, now, um, awkward little nugget of an area, though. But that's okay. <laughs> that is alright. I'm so glad that you're able to take this marble. <laughs> if you wouldn't, that would be kind of sad. <laughs> yes, now we're just grab that. Not gonna worry about grabbing the rest of the corpses, though. Because, um, don't have that much time to spare. Oh, I thought that one yellow Pikmin just decided to stay with us. There we go. Make sure this is... Last one, and it was. Cool. Louie takes the lead just at the end. <laughs> so, now let's see. Drumroll. Are we going to beat our score? And... Uh... Ooh, just barely no. But hey, that's okay. I think if we had just a little bit more time, we probably would have. And now on to the Cavernous Abyss, which I almost read it as Carnivorous Abyss again. <laughs> I think in the last episode I thought it said that for some reason. And this one is one we're going to be playing it rather safe. And I also love how the ship actually points to the entrance to it. I don't know about you, but whenever I enter it here, I always find it kind of awkward to just try to find where we actually need to be. Is this the Dweevil area? No, it is a hidden spot. There's actually three hidden treasures and three Dweevils. And we weren't even... Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was very able to punch one, but like, dang is it awkward. Now normally I wouldn't worry about getting all of the treasures to start off with. 
but right now I don't get the treasures just because, well, we can, why not? I don't know if it saves time or not. It just feels good. Oh, I like one for that. <laughs> that's unfortunate, but that's okay. This also gets too bad that, you know, the blue Pikmin can save every other Pikmin type from drowning, but the, the whites wouldn't actually save any of the other Pikmin from suffocating from poison, and the fire Pikmin, or the red Pikmin rather, won't save the rest of the Pikmin from getting burnt. <laughs> it's just kind of like, why? Why that like awkward RNG with everything? But hey, that's just Pikmin. I think this one was already, yeah, this one was already burnt out. Now, Dweeb, where are you? Also notice that it always goes in like a zigzag pattern. And I don't, actually don't know if that is the case for sure or not. Again, I don't know why I'm trying to run away from like, the poison when the, the Pikmin aren't actually going to get poisoned. And, uh, oh well. <laughs> it's just habit to do that, I suppose. Just like his habit to, again, just get every treasure in quartz before fighting the actual boss. That... I don't know why, it's just the way my brain works. It's like, do this first, and then this. I don't know how you guys tend to do it. That's just how I tend to do it. Alright, so now for the boss. I don't know if I'm going to worry about getting like, the perfect score. Mostly because we already got it like, once. But also because, I don't know, this boss is just really awkward for me. Woo, run away! <laughs> yeah, try to play it safe though, because we have, well, got some good time here. But also, again, it's just a, a really awkward boss to try to fight. And I don't like how it just heals as it goes through this kind of weird... I don't know if it's because it was just very close to being half health or not. Just like that might have been why it was healing. If that's okay, or else it's gonna stay under it for now. At least until we need to cut off, which should be right there. Now SPEED! <laughs> but yeah, it's mostly because, I don't know, this boss sometimes just stresses me out. You're also really close to actually getting it done. Oh, we just lost one Pikmin. Oh, that hurts. But we're banished for the one Pikmin, though. That's mostly why, it's because, like, even though I'm playing it safe, it doesn't mean we're not gonna get crushed underneath Pikmin's feet. But that's okay. Now we have a switched Pikmin, because the white Pikmin is still the fastest, and we don't know when. The thing is also going to just be like, now nah, we done now. Right there. So we would have been like halfway through. But, alas, we almost got perfect again. But I'm very, very curious to know how close the score is actually going to be now. Because we actually got a whole lot more quicker of a time than when we did it last time. Again, it's really too bad that we were recording just mess itself up because... Oh gee. Pretty good run. Whoa, hold your horses, it's on the other side. Normally it's like right there. At least it has been before. But no, okay, so we're probably not gonna get that close then, unfortunately. And I had a feeling it should have just split up the Pikmin. But oh well. <laughs> Alright, I'm surprised the Reds haven't tried to give up on chasing us. But I suppose it's because they're close enough behind, it's not like the purples. Do you think they would go fat up at that point? I'm not really sure. But now, how close did we get to our scores? Is that like 6055 and 6082? Wow! We beat our high score. Though we didn't get perfect. But that actually makes me really happy, the fact that we got that close to actually beating it. But yeah! Anyways, with that, we shall leave it here. Next one, the Giant's Bath Cave of Snarls. Has the training, three color training, and snack pit. I like how it's a snack pit. Almost to smack, smack, smack pack, smack pack. Get in, you get smacked to face my deliciousness. Snack pit, <laughs> snack pit. 
Anyways, I don't want to ramble on. <laughs> so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Slap that subscribe button, sit something down in the comments below. Tip <laughs> below. <laughs> words, guys, words. <laughs> Do what you do and I will see you in the next video. Or not. I don't know, I hope I'll see you at the next video. But until then, peace.